What's up everyone? Welcome to episode 8 of Hardcore Minecraft. This episode was a bit of a roller coaster to say the least. My original plan was to build a shulker farm because I'm getting pretty tired of living out of random chests. And don't get me wrong, shulker boxes... shulker... what a hard word to say. Shulker boxes are ultimately going to make the problem worse, but we're still a few episodes away from building our mega storage build. When I say mega storage build, I mean mega storage build. Millions upon millions of items are going to be stored in this thing. So on day three of filming this episode, I decided to sidetrack and move on to a new idea. Unlimited gunpowder. I also have a fun idea I'm going to be implementing in the next and future episodes, so stay tuned for that. So on a positive note, when we're ready to build the shelter farm, we already have all the resources gathered, so kind of a win? Here's when I made the realization that I need to sidetrack and work on getting unlimited rockets. So today we'll focus on the gunpowder, and next episode we'll work on the sugar cane. Alright, as you can see behind me here, we have all our chests for our goodies for our shulker farm for another episode. And I've also set up some chickens, as we're going to use the wither roses to kill them. There's also a metric ton of bamboo behind me, as we are going to need a lot of scaffolding for this build. Now, hopefully we can stop saying the word shulker until the next episode. So I'll show you guys the items required for this build. Let me just open up Lake Matica. We're saving it roughly 27,000 blocks for the, just the build. Uh, we will decorate it in another episode. It is mainly using a lot of warped wood. So this is simply for the fact that every time I'm in the tree farming area, I'm always turning on the nether tree farm. And we've built up ourselves a pretty good stockpile. And, well, it's kind of green, so kind of like a creeper, right? So we're going to head over to the tree farming district now, so we can start crafting up all the materials. As you can see with Light Matica, I'm able to turn on a little mini HUD on the right of the screen. All this is doing is telling me my material list. As I gather them, it will update the numbers, which allows me to track the materials as I collect them. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the farm while we start crafting these materials, just so that we can keep replenishing our future resources. Let's go ahead, start crafting everything up we need for the build, and I'll meet you guys after that. Alright guys, after that crafting time lapse, here's what we're left with. Nine double chests full of resources. Well, looking through a little closer, it's actually eight double chest materials. So let's go ahead, get rid of that extra chest. I don't want to trigger anyone's OCD, I'm not a fan of it myself. Perfect, we'll get all these resources moved over to where we're going to build our creeper farm shortly. So, one last thing we need is we need the fish to breed up the cats. So let's get ourselves a nice comfy spot and let's do some nice calm fishing until we get a couple stacks of fish. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as me. Alright, psych, let's go kill some fish.
I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I had 25 additional minutes of fish killing footage. I didn't think anyone would want to watch that for more than 20 seconds, but hey, let me know if I'm wrong on that assumption, because I'm sure that's not gonna be the last time mass destruction of an entire ecosystem happens. Am I right? Now, we'll just do some village jumping until we're able to find ourselves some cats. So let's see what we've got here. Wait, what? A floating torch and grass on top of water? It's pretty cursed if I say so myself. I wonder if maybe we'll come back later and build a shrine around this or something. Village number three. Let's see if we're able to get lucky here. Oh, there it is. Now remember everyone. Oh my goodness, that's a jelly cat. Oh boy, our first jelly cat. I love that. We're gonna have so many jelly cats by the end of this. If you guys don't know what a jelly cat is, you gotta check out Good Times with Scar. The cat is literally named after his in real life cat. All right, now we just need to find, oh, there he is. There's our next cat. Let's see if we can sneak up to him. Oh, man, we spooked him. All right, let's just ease into this little guy. Oh, we spooked him good. Oh my goodness, we spooked him again. Okay, let's just sit still. Maybe he'll come over to us. That's a good kitty. Got him. Perfect, we've got ourselves two cats. We'll be able to breed them up, have an army of cats. Now, let's get these cats back to the creeper farm. Well, at least where it's going to be going. No, God, please, no, no, no! All right, well, I guess we're going to have to get ourselves another cat. One quick detour later, and we have ourselves two cats. Luckily, our jelly cat survived. Well, with all that done, I'm going to go ahead, get ourselves our items moved over, we'll breed up the cats, and let's throw this creeper farm together. Hope you all enjoyed that time lapse. If you look closely for the first layer, you can see me placing the cats. Every single layer has four cats, but I cut that part of the time lapse out on the other layers. It just seemed too clumsy, and I wanted the time lapse to look great, so out it went. Next steps is the middle of the creeper farm is going to be a giant water elevator. So we need to start placing the water up here at the top, letting it flow down.
and I thought I could make infinite water sources like this, but I guess not. Three buckets of water is going to have to do it for us. And it also looks like I may have forgotten to light up a few floors. I wonder if we're able to quickly see which ones we missed without, uh, you know, blowing up a creeper or two. They are absolutely everywhere. I guess that's positive though, right? That's kind of what we want, just not while I'm in the farm. I think I'm just gonna fly away, despawn them, quickly jump down and uh, light the layers up. I may have to do that once, I may have to do it a few times. Give me a few minutes. Much better. Alright, anyway, so now the water has reached the bottom. We simply need to place kelp everywhere. I don't really understand why a few of these blocks have turned into source blocks, considering I dropped four buckets of water from the top. But the second we put the kelp on them, they will go away as a source block. It'll make this easier. I need to stop bouncing. Let's place the kelp. Stop bouncing me. God. Come on. There. Nope. There we go. Alright, now we just need to raise the kelp all the way to the top. Nope, not hit a trap door. Let's just close the... come on. Okay, now. We just need to raise the kelp all the way to the top. We did about halfway with the kelp. I got a little tired of going back and forth to get more kelp, so let's do the rest of the bone meal. This is at least a much simpler process. Alright, just finishing the last of the kelp up. If we swim to the top, we can see every rose up to the top of where we need it to go. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of trippy to swim up, but imagine swimming up a giant tube of water with kelp everywhere in real life. Maybe one of the most terrifying things ever. So now that we have all the water placed, we're going to go back down the bottom. We need to place iron bars in each of the corners. So we'll just go ahead, break the kelp, and let's go ahead... Oh, okay, no. I just need to place the iron bars all the way up. Oop, I'm hoping it's not going to be this difficult on all four sides. Okay, slip, nope. Slip, nope. Okay, what if we... let's get it there. Perfect. Oh, apparently that makes it not a source block anymore. I wish I knew that at the beginning instead of looking like a moron. Okay, let's go ahead and place the rest of the blocks on all four corners, going all the way up to the top. With all the bars placed, we now have to go floor by floor, eliminating all the torches. We can break the kelp as we go, as it's not going to turn into a source block until we get to the very bottom. Once all the torches are done, we're going to remove the final kelp on the bottom, close it off. Uh, we have to put a few more source blocks of water at the top, and hopefully we will be ready to start using the farm. Alright, with that done, let's take a look at the farm and see how it's running. There's a few things I'll need to change to kill faster. I need to switch my sword to my Sharpness 5 sword instead of my Smite sword that I'm currently using. I will need to change the beacon from Jump Boost to Strength 2. But honestly, looking at this thing, the rates are awesome. The changes are only going to make me kill quicker, not make anything spawn faster. This is pretty awesome. I can't collect the XP fast enough. The gunpowder is just raining down. I've been using this for seconds. And we have so much gunpowder already. I love this. Let's fly away, come right back, and let's take a quick look at free cam and how everything is performing inside. Alright, let's quickly jump into free cam. Take a look for everything. Oh my goodness. This is just a constant flow. Look at them all. And the great part about this mob farm is I am above the spawning radius. So they'll just keep coming. They're not going to hit spawning cap. 
it will just be an entire flow. They're gonna die of entity cramming if I was to stand here for 30 seconds. This is this is awesome. Look at this gunpowder. All right, so I've been sitting here swinging my sword for I don't know, maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes. Look how much gunpowder. Look at my inventory is already overflowing. I threw a bunch of stuff out already. It's insane. I've never had a creeper farm this efficient. I know there's super efficient ones, but I have never personally had one this efficient. You know what? I have an idea. Let's go down. Let's put this stuff together. And yes, I realize I am literally taking it from one chest and putting it into another chest, but you know what? Humor me. Ugh, we have so much gunpowder, we can't even pick up the chest. All right, here we go. Like three minutes of work. We are three stacks short. I, I think we need to do it. We need to get a full chest of gunpowder. So fly back up here, give the farm a solid five seconds to get itself going. And here they come. Oh, look how much experience we left. We don't even need the experience. We have other farms, but it's just nice to see. So we'll swing our sword for another, I don't know, let's give it 10 or 15 seconds. Yeah, honestly, that's that's probably already going to do it. We'll just finish up what's here, if we can even kill them all to clear the area. Alright. Yeah, we're already... and there we go. That's more than we need. Let's go throw it in the chest. Honestly, if we can get a chest of gunpowder in under five minutes... Oh, that is... that is ridiculous amounts of gunpowder. Well, jumps for joys. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it half as much as I enjoyed putting this together. Uh, let's give a little background effect of all these creepers dying of entity cramming. Like always, guys, if you enjoyed what you see today, like and subscribe. Future videos coming out always. And I hope everyone stays safe. Cheers, all. Bye.